Shalom Israel, this is your brother Lamad Lakam. And before I get started, I first want to give all praise, honor, glory, reverence, esteem to the Most High Yahweh. And to Him only do I give my praise and worship to. Um, I'm going to go over the topic of can we keep our feast days and holy days while in captivity or while we're in another land. Um, this is kind of a hot topic that's been going on amongst our community. And, uh, you know, I get it. I get I get it um, for those who say, no, we can't. And um, But if you're sincere and really want the truth, we're going to let the words speak of the scriptures, the holy scriptures. So I'm going to go to Deuteronomy. I'm going to start at verse 12, try to get through this quick. So I'm in the King James. If you got your Bible, want to read out your own. I'm going to start at Deuteronomy chapter 12 at the top. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land, which Yahweh Elohim of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. So we're talking about in the land, all right? Verse 2, ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess, serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and upon every green tree. So back then, the ancestors, you know, they had to they had to clean their land up from the nations that took over and started doing all the idolatrous stuff. Uh, uh, so now, continuing, verse three, and ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire, and ye shall hew that hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. So he's cleaning the place up. All right. Verse four, ye shall not do so unto Yahweh, your Elohim. Verse five, but unto the place which Yahweh, your Elohim, shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there. Even unto his habitation shall ye seek. And thither thou shalt come. So we know we're not at that point because this is still a captivity for us. We don't have our own land nowhere. No matter where you believe our land is, whether you think the land is over there uh, near Africa, whether you think the land is here, no matter where you think, none of it is ours. None of it. We, it's, it, we don't control anything. Verse 6. And thither, which means in there, Ye shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and heave offerings of your hand and your vows and your free will offerings and the firstlings of your herds and your flocks. So he's saying there in, 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 in the land that he's given to us, the most high will be given to us. That's where you're going to bring these offerings. All right. Verse seven. And there, continuing with there in that land, ye shall eat before Yahweh your Elohim, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your hand unto, ye and your households, wherein Yahweh thy Elohim have blessed thee. Verse 8, ye shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. So he said, don't do whatever you want to do. You know, and that's the problem, you know, real, just a little off track a little bit. In Christianity, people be calling themselves serving God however they please. You know, there's rules. With any any parent, there's rules. So he said, don't do whatever's right in your own eyes. So in order to know what we got to do, we got to continue reading. Verse 9, for ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which Yahweh your Allah I am giving you. And today we haven't either. We're not at rest. We got to hump, hustle, and, and, and make it through this captivity. Verse 10. But when ye go over Jordan and dwell in the land which Yahweh your Allah giveth you to inherit. And when he giveth you rest from all your enemies. We don't have that. Round about so that ye dwell in safety. Verse 11. Then there shall be a place which Yahweh your Allah shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither, there. Shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the heave offering of your hand and all your choice vows, which ye vowed unto Yahweh. That's where 
the people who say we're not supposed to be keeping these feast days. Now this is this is where they 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 rubbing it in and they going off. See, you know, then they continue, and ye shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim, ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you. Verse thirteen: Take heed to thyself that thou offer. Not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou see. And he says, see, you're not supposed to be doing. And he's right. You're not supposed to be doing no burnt offerings in any old place. Verse 14. But in the place which Yahweh shall choose in one of thy tribes, there thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings. And there shalt do all that I command thee. And then that's where they stop. See? But we're not going to stop because we're students. We're seeking the most high's face. So those of us who choose to continue to seek the most high's face, we continue reading. Because this next word, this next word is a game changer. This is this is where where the big hurt steps up to the plate and just smacks one. Notwithstanding, you see that in verse 15, notwithstanding. That's a word similar to however, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, however, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy, thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of Yahweh thy Elohim, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck. And as of the heart. Let's look at that. He said, however, meaning for see in verse 14, we saw, but in the place in which the Lord choose. However, in verse 15, you may kill and eat flesh in all thy gates. Because not all Israel throughout the years was in the land during the feast time. They were away. That didn't mean they weren't supposed to keep his days. Wherever you are, you're supposed to keep it. There are things you're so supposed to do and things you're not supposed to do when you're not in the land. When you're not in the land, he says you can kill and eat flesh. Don't be offering those sacrifices. Remember up here? You're not supposed to be, look, right here, verse 11. Your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and your heave offerings. That's what you're not supposed to be doing. You're supposed to eat and give the, the glory to the Most High, wherever you are. See that? Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat the flesh in all thy gates. Then he says the clean and the unclean may eat. So you can have people who, um, who are, are nation people, but they want to be with you. They clinging on to you. He said the clean and the unclean can eat. If you're outside of the gates, of uh, if you're outside of the land, the clean and, un the clean and the unclean may eat. But it's got to be a lawful animal, such as a roebuck or a heart. All right? Only ye shall not eat the blood. We know that from Leviticus. You ain't supposed to be eating no blood. Ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Uh, and just a little off topic, you Christians that every once a month symbolically drinking blood, you guys are sickos. You, you witches, vampires, blood drinkers. Most High said, don't eat the blood. We ain't supposed to be eating no blood, consuming no blood, All right? Continuing, verse 17. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn or of thy wine or of thy oil or the firstlings of thy herds or of thy flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings or heave offering of thy hand. So don't do those things lest you're in the land. Look, because he says it right here, verse 18. But thou must eat them before Yahweh thy Elohim, Elohim, excuse me, in the place which Yahweh thy Elohim shall choose. Thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates. And thou shalt rejoice before Yahweh thy Elohim in all that thou puttest thy hands into. So you can do these things right here, the corn, wine, and oil. 
first you can do that in the place in verse 18 which he chooses for us so he tells us what to do in the land and he tells us what to do outside of the land so don't do the sacrifices and the, the offering when you're not in the land but go ahead have your meal enjoy your family your praise to the most high you all got to cut that out man trying so hard to be to to just prove a point take some time and all you had to do was read about six what's that four more verses i think i read that's all but hopefully um this is edifying and that's it you know i enjoy my feast days i'm not out here offering doing the offerings i'm not out here uh doing sacrifices and all that we don't have our our levites um, Levitical priests, I should say. So we can't do those things. But hopefully this was edifying. And until next time, shalom.